like I'm ecstatic. That's because we got a, a special guest in the building. Uh, <laughs> used to be my homeboy, man. Uh, now he <laughs> he ventured off. He he's doing a lot of great great things, man. Wait no more. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you got an app. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Man, we got Mr. Red rushing in the building, man. Yes, sir. Glad to be here. Welcome, player. Yes, sir. So we gonna be honest today, or we just like I wanna we gonna be honest, or we just you know kicking with shit. Can we curse on you? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. K I N. K I N. So we gonna be honest, or we gonna be? Yeah. Okay. What you you had to be honest about something? No, I just wanted to know was you gonna be honest? Oh, for sure. Because this what season two. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now nah. you ain't tell you ain't tell Reg that he filling in for me. Sure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's my, it's, oh. It's light as a motherfucker over here. Red, the Damn, for real thing. now. Listen, bro. For ex professional athlete. Yeah. We do our fitness thing. Yeah. Light skin brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't gonna tell him. We bro, was supposed to be here. We first. interchangeable, bro. Oh, hey, wow. Hey, bro. We my, my brother. My name. Bro, that's a mess of shit. <laughs> bro, you never even wanted to do the show, bro. Stop playing. Bro, we talked about this for years, bro. What are you talking? <laughs> what high school you went to, bro? Randolph Clay, okay. South Georgia. Yeah. I thought y'all went to uh, McNeil some shit together. So oh, y'all really no, been talking no. about nah, it for years. Nah, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Nav is. It's three people that I kind of fanned out. It's three people I kind of fanned out with when I met them. And Nav was, Nav was one. It was Beyonce, Kobe Bryant, and Nav. Was one. <laughs> well, we capping now. We capping all episodes. But, no bullshit. But for real. He no says an honest. He's hard. honest. No bullshit. That's I'm hard. in South DeKalb. Who's in South DeKalb? Oh, you know, nice. True story. Me and Anthony Morrow. You can call my boy and ask him. When hey, Nav, yeah. when Nav yeah. dropped shift leader, me and Amo would be under the comments every single post. That's what's up. Right. Yeah. Every single post, I see this nigga in Foot Locker. Yeah. <laughs> I literally run up to Nav, mm -hmm. pull my phone out, FaceTime Amo on some straight fan shit. Amo, look, look, That's bro. Hard. Look, look, the shift leader. Did That's I not? Hard. No, he did. Thanks, bro. That's hard. Do Great. Hey, so let's intertwine this shit real quick. The first time I seen him was at your race over there um, in 044. 044 yeah. Wow. You was coming out the parking garage. And I was talking about the, some, the security shit. That, those are my favorite. Oh, okay. okay. Hold my yeah, goddamn yeah. line. Uh -huh. Them. I was like, bro, you funny as a motherfucker. Please keep that shit rolling. So, you so but you saw phone. me support him. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. I do. I was, yeah, we both was out there. I was at the, I was at the, I hate him or something. Man, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> she was a bitch. <laughs> hey, man, you might be on. No, hold on. We might be interchangeable for real, bro. You might be not a bitch. Hey, I don't think he's lying about that shit, bro. Hey, come on. Yeah, bro. I'm option this number two. Ain't been since, it's bro. All good. Nigga, you know hey, what I'm saying? It's all good. Nah, but Red. Nah. That was the first time I seen Red. Then I seen Red in Cleveland. Mm. We was at the uh, Cavs game. Playoffs. But he, it was a playoffs game. He down there talking with Tristan Thompson. Now I'm like, but I had dapped him up, but I'm, you know how you look back? I'm like, Chump the fuck? No, I did not chump. I dapped him up. I'm like, bro, good to see you again. I look back, I said, what the fuck do he do? Because like the NBA player, you let go to the back. I'm like, I said, they talking to him. I said, he do something. Mm -hmm. I said, I got to figure this shit out. That yeah, one I knew. That, like, what's up, bro? That one I knew. I saw him. <laughs> just kept it moving. What's up, bro? You know I, what I'm saying? I saw him <laughs> with David Stern and them. I said, oh, that's what it is. That nigga, he's secret society. He run the NBA and shit. <laughs> Yes, sir, it's your boy Reggie Ball back again here with Prize Picks. Now, I know I said this before, but Prize Picks is the only place where a single entry can be life changing. Look, we got MMA, Major League Baseball, and we got the WNBA. And you know what else? We even got slap boxing, too. Each day, there's a chance for you to add more money to your bank. All you have to do is register and deposit, select more or less on two to six player stats like rebounds, assists, strikeouts and potentially win up to 25 times your entry. Plus, if it's your first time on Prize Picks, they'll match your initial deposit up to $100. All right, guys, it's available in over 30 states. Head to Prize Picks right now and use that promo code, BrokenPlay. 
So go right now, download Prize Picks for your daily fantasy sports experience. Daily fantasy made easy. Lord. When you met Kobe, you, you said Kobe was in. How, how you was when you met Kobe? Was in Vegas. And we was in Vegas and we out on the um, balcony overlooking Vegas and shit. And I'm standing there and the fan moment, it like hit me. Like it's just around the time we used to call him 2 4. Mm -hmm. Looking out on Vegas, talking to two folk. Shit. And that shit hit me. Like, we right. was having a dope conversation. We talked about so much shit. And I'm like, little dude from Fort Game out here talking to two folk. Because at that point, I felt he was the greatest thing. Yeah, I was a Mike fan. But at that moment, I thought he was the greatest basketball player ever. And you think he had surpassed Mike at that time? Yeah, for me. He for, was yeah. my favorite. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I got you. Son. He was my. Fa he wasn't number one. He was my favorite. Gotcha. At the time, he was my favorite, and it was just like growing up, always wanting to be like Kobe and stuff. And the fact that I'm there talking to him mm. was like that yeah. was crazy. Yeah, surreal. So you talk to him, conversation type. Nah, we um, nah, for sure. Yeah. We talked. We talked a few times. Like, yeah. nah, it was dope. A quick story, right? So we in San Francisco. They playing Golden State. We playing Golden State. I get in before the team. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> I was managing athletes, managing their itinerary and stuff. And I get there. But this one, Dwight was playing with the Lakers. Gotcha. So I get there before the team. The team get in town. We ride. They put their bags up. We leave from the hotel. Go eat. So when we go eat, we sitting in there eating and stuff. We at. I don't know the name of the restaurant or whatever, but it was a black-owned restaurant, fine dining, downtown San Francisco or whatever. Or well, it might have been downtown Oakland. You know, it's right next to Yeah, right I don't next know. to you. So long story short, the team is eating. Everybody eating. Cole come in. Cole, the last person come in. Come in with the security. Shout out to Rob. Um, and he sit by me because I'm sitting on the end. So he sit by me. We eat, we talking and stuff. And um, we was just talking. And he like, man, I'm... Go get some shots up, and I always heard the, I always heard the tales and the stories and all that stuff. So long story short, they come, oh Mr. Brian, what you want to eat? You know what you want to eat? And he was like, Red, what you got? And I forgot. I just remember having some cornbread. It was a <laughs> fine restaurant, but it had some cornbread and all yeah. that stuff. I forgot what I was eating. He was Country like, Let me is. get, let me get what he got. So Cole was like, Let me get, let me get that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's like, It's good. Let mm -hmm. me get that. So, boom, me and Cole just talking and everything. So, I said, he said, by he go, go work out or whatever. I ain't think nothing of it. Come back, the owner, the wife, and the husband. It was a wife and a husband. The chef came back. He was the sous chef. It was the husband. So, when he came in, the husband was like, um, man, can I take a picture? Mr. Bryant Cole got up. Mr. Howard, can I take a picture? They got up, the lady, everybody got up taking pictures and stuff. So the chef say, um, y'all don't beat us too bad. I hope y'all get sick. You know, the food, enjoy the food. Oh, I hope y'all get sick or whatever. Crazy. Boom, boom, boom. Just everybody laughing and shit. The white and them already, they eating and um, Arte, all, everybody eating. Kobe ain't touched his food yet. So they laughing and stuff. So when they walked off, Oh, like push the plate, like, like push the plate. Like he looked at me like I ain't eating that shit. Damn. I'm like, you serious? He was like, I ain't no telling what they did today. I ain't eating that shit. So shit, I got it. Mm -hmm. I ate the shit. Cole, <laughs> like I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> he got up and just left. Yeah, got up and left. Yeah. Fast forward a few um, hours later, we get back to the hotel. I'm chasing this little chick. She got me downtown Oakland by myself. Mm. You know, we partying and stuff. I leave frustrated. The night didn't end well. So right. I leave, go back to the um, <laughs> hotel. Nav, I get on the elevator. When I get on the elevator, a hand stopped the elevator. Now, I done been out partying. Right. It's 2 a.m. Stop the elevator. Cole step on there, him and the security. I'm looking at him. I'm like, bro, where you been? 
it was like, you know, we went to this little high school gym up here. I always go to when we wow. in town. You know, I had to put up put up some shots and all that. I'm like, bro, why you ain't tell me? He said, I did. I said, I would have got rebound, whatever, whatever. He was like, I told you. You you thought I was playing? Bro, it's 2 in the morning. They had, he was just coming back from when y'all ate. He was just coming back from when he ate, left, went and got his stuff, went for practice. I'm coming in at 2 in the morning. Bro's walking on the elevator. He said he just went through a full practice. Mind you, they practiced before they left L.A., before they got on the team plane, they practiced. So this really they off day? In the game, mm. no, they practiced. Oh, they oh. practiced early. Oh, okay, and then they traveled. Into, okay, mm. gotcha. Got into the city, eight. He went to practice again. Mind you, the game is tomorrow. So that was kind of work ethic he had. Different, bro. How was his game the next game? You remember? I don't even remember, bro. I just remember that story. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, that make you think, like, Imagine you saying that, but just imagine like he, that. Probably that's his routine, bro. Like every city, huh? everybody say that shit. Everybody say something see, similar to see, it. See, I got, I got that part of code for a season. Just being at every, like I was at every game that season. I probably was at eighty two. I probably was at like seventy some games. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Traveling with the team and all that. So I got to see. Well, you ain't really see Kobe at home games. You're not really seeing Kobe at home games, period. Mm. I don't know if people if you ain't on the team, you're not seeing them. Like tunnel, you know his, his own entrance. Not not the own entrance, but they have a tunnel coming in the Staples Center and all that stuff. Like So he driving. You don't yeah. No, he, he they walk through the tunnel. Oh, okay. That you know, a boy used to be at the Ritz so across the street. Mm. But bro, you know, he stayed out in Calabasas, mm. but he had a spot at the Ritz. So game days, he walked through the bottom of the Ritz is a tunnel mm. to get to the thing. He moved. It, I can't explain. Batman, it, that nigga right. Bruce Wayne, right? Like you not, you <laughs> really up. not go see him. And like you know, he ain't playing that family room stuff after the game. Oh, all yeah. this other stuff, like you, bro. He just moved different. Yeah. So he, like after the games where everybody hanging out, he ain't in. He nah, you not, you not, you you wasn't seeing bro like that. Damn. At no games, bro. Like I was at. Every home game, you're not seeing them. So you think Kobe one of the best, like, because because you you don't been around Bron too. Bron know you personally. I remember you telling me that story. <laughs> I'm saying it like that, but I'm like, saying like, cause nah, cause <laughs> that nah, shit just guy. dope. Yeah. yeah, that's my guy. I mean, Bron. I'm gonna be honest. It's it's a little biased, mm -hmm. but Bron Bron the goat. Like, I don't even know why we still debating it. You got Braun over Jordan, Kobe, no. Autumn. No, Braun is over everybody. You are a good friend. You are a great friend. Take the friendship out. Man, be my friend. <laughs> I don't <man>. know Braun. <laughs> be my friend. Tell these niggas I'm the best QB that done came through the state of Georgia, bro. My nigga, the you best is QB bro. came through. Hell yeah, right? <laughs> I had a nigga back on the show, too. Y'all ain't see them stats? <laughs> that nigga had fucked shit up. Nah, that nigga. Bro, Braun, I'm going to give you one stat. One stat. What? To make Braun better than every single person. What? Him and Savannah still together. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. That's so it got to be basketball that's related, so Red. That's, that's so sweet. I, I but no, nah, nah, that I, is I like dope. That I always I like commend him about that too, though. Every single person that you compare to Braun has scandal. And bullshit with they know. So he's a better, let's say he's maybe a better man do or husband. How, do y'all know how hard that shit is? Just to, do y'all know the face he have to put on every single, how long you been playing? 20 years? 21, ain't it? Because I was in middle school. You got to count them high school years. Too, every, bro, bro they <laughs> oh, was yeah. expecting They was on him in the 11th grade. Lose, they was expecting him to lose from the jump. Ray, did you see when them Cavalier players were talking about him when they were talking about uh, Darius drafting Miles, Darius Powell, Miles, Boozer? Yeah. Bro, it was bad, bro. It was bad. But Brunt, Brunt, the 3-1 Brunt, that's when he surpassed Mike for me. 2016? That's 16 seconds? I got an ill story. I got time. Yeah, yeah. Gold, that was gold we state, just right? got it. Nigga, that's what you here for. Right? I tricked you. I want you telling all these damn stories. <laughs> I, tricked you. I got an ill bronze story. 
So I how I got in was I was um, working with Tristan. I worked yeah, with Tristan, Tristan for Tristan. a few years. And, um, you know, so I was handling Tristan, like, um, travel and stuff, and we just became close. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we kicked it out. Like, when we seen each other in Cleveland, mm-hmm. that whole championship run, I was there. I, I went to every play, every um, game in Cleveland, that championship run. And the finals, I went to every game but the actual, the last final game. So I was there the whole time. So, you know, I was able to, you know, all them guys um, with Clutch, I mean, we know how they done took over. Because it was just really starring then. Like, it it was just, like, I knew it was going to go there because just sitting down in the conversations I used to have with Rich. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They are different. They are different. When I say different, they are different. I've been around so many athletes. There's a few athletes that are different. And I know we say, well, Braun was going to be Braun, so he was able to bring his – it was easy for him to bring his team and all this stuff because he Braun. But that shit is extremely hard to like. But they are different. They're wired different. But anyway, what made Braun pass Mike for me, not – the fact that the performance, but when they went down 3-1, I'm in the back. I was telling you how Kobe operate. Bron is like that too. Bron is sort of like routine. It ain't no none of that outside shit. You know, I don't you know all these girls, oh I'm courtside and all this stuff. I don't know if y'all realize, but Savannah ain't used to shit, sit courtside. The only time you see Savannah courtside is watching Bronny. Yeah, there. and USC mm. games. But that's why all these girls, I'm courtside, I'm courtside. But the queen, Miss Miss Jane, she ain't on that. Her same seat, I think it was maybe like four rows up, her same seat. She come in there, she go, she don't be entertained with all that other outside stuff yeah. and all that stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Miss Jane's there to support her man. In the back. All right, boom. They lose. They go down 3-1. We in the back, I mean, waiting on the players. Right outside where the cars is at. Mm-hmm. I had just got finished talking to um Shump. Just got finished talking to Draymond. Shout out Draymond. Braun come out. I think it's me, Tristan, JR, a couple more people. Tristan, other two homeboys, we all just chilling, just talking or whatever. Everybody morale down. They done went down 3-1. Brian come out. Straight to Savannah. I want to say his mom was there, maybe the kids or whatever. But the first thing he do when he came out, he went straight to Savannah. Kissed Savannah. Kissed his wife, family, whatever. He came over there with us. Gave everybody a handshake. I ain't had no handshake. I was kind of mad. Bro. I ain't had no handshake. <laughs> <laughs> like, handshake. He gave everybody a handshake. <laughs> I, ain't get, I ain't get the handshake. I, I ain't get the detailed handshake, but I had the homeboy handshake. Bro. So you knew that down pat. Oh, I had the homeboy handshake. I had the homeboy handshake, but I ain't had it. The, the teammate. What, this boom, yours? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, <laughs> I ain't have all that now. Long story short, bam, he come. He come over there. He dap everybody up. When he dapped everybody up, he was like, fellas, my bad. He tell each person, mm. my bad. Nigga even told me, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nav, he told everybody, my, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I'm, I got to be more aggressive. Mm. We got this. I have to be more aggressive. We got this. Never seen shit like it in my life. We got in the truck. Tristan's whole aura has changed. And all he's saying is how they're going to win. We low-key go to the house and have a shindig. Like, we got people over, chilling, toast, drinking, kickback. And I'm looking at Tristan the whole time like, 
bro, you out your rabbit ass mind if you think y'all about to beat Golden State three, three game, straight games, game, yeah. and it's the best team ever, best record ever. And I'm thinking like he's tripping. But what I saw was LeBron instill in each player the confidence that this is our series. I don't care what they're doing. We're going to win. So the whole ride, I'm like, man, Tristan talking. I'm in my head like, <laughs> man, bro, whatever, bro. <laughs> like, whatever, bro. Yeah. But, bro, when I tell you he's so calm and he really feel that they're going to win. Fast forward, we travel to Golden State. So we travel to Golden State. Of course, game five is in Golden State. Mm -hmm. So the night before, nice steak restaurant on the water. We go sit down. We eating dinner. The fellas, uh, I think Kyrie was the only one wasn't there. That about right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's on so, track. Um, don't quote me on that. I don't remember, but Kyrie probably wasn't. Okay. I wasn't around Kyrie that much. <laughs> Like, I wasn't around Kyrie that much. But we sitting there eating. Bron got his wine. Everybody got steak. Nice meal. He got his wine and stuff. He, like, from the jump. He said, tomorrow at jump ball. Before jump ball, I'm going. I'm going to tell Steph. It's my shit, whatever, whatever, whatever he said, whatever. <laughs> he said, at jump ball, I'm letting him know. I got this. And, bro, those next three games, he put on a fucking performance out of this world. That game yeah. five was the 41-41 game with Kyrie yeah. and LeBron. And Kyrie, yeah. yeah. And then it went from there to the back next to game. And then the next back, game. and when he did the block. Absolutely. Bro, I saw that shit, and it was absolutely insane. I like. I so, said, look, when did you start believing? Because you say, as Drake, you like, Trish and Trippin in the car ride and at the Shindig. So at the game five, did you was you sold in like they they could do it? Or is it? I was honestly I was on the edge, and it was why the fuck we got the Pacers tag up there? Oh, uh, Jeff T had signed that. Oh come on, bro, you got it, <laughs> bro, got it. <laughs> bro. You know all these oh, players get some nigga to sign some shit, fuck <laughs> man. All right, bro, why are you here? I <laughs> that shit reflecting over here. <laughs> Come on, now. Where I was at, bro? That threw me off. We well, used to start the league. We used to start the league. They were gonna, really going to win. After that game, My I man, was like, Jim. man, damn. But um, game six at home, mm -hmm. I was like, it's over. Mm. I was like, it's over. When, when I saw... Him like it was over. I think the nigga walked by me and he like I I think he ain't even speak. Like nigga just kept walking and and then they was playing. Remember that day they dropped? Hey, oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Cause during that whole run they was playing. I was surprised they played it up there in Cleveland. He was running out there. He know the songs. You know he know the songs. You know Bron for that music. Yeah, yeah. Bron got the drop. So I say game six, but I so game seven is the finals. I ain't want to, you know, I told Tristan, don't worry about it. I ain't want to ask for no ticket, you know, family and all that mm -hmm. stuff. So I was like, man, I I stay back. Had a little shindig over off River Road at the crib. Just run your way. East side. So I'm in there. You can't tell me I'm not from Cleveland. <laughs> like, I'm team. Like, I'm on a team now. I'm part of Clutch. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm with Tristan. I'm, yeah. Like, I, I got a handshake. <laughs> I'm in everything. Like, so, um. My homeboys talking shit. Like, that's something about these athlete niggas. They real fucking jealous. Because, like, my other athlete homeboys that I be going to see play and stuff like that, they're all, oh, that nigga, he ain't been out here. That nigga been mm -hmm. in Cleveland the whole yeah. time. You know what I'm saying? Throwing shade. Anyway, they won the game. And, you know, they won. Remember, JR had the shirt off. They went straight to Vegas Absolutely. or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. By the time they went to Cleveland, they had a party for them. They had a party. They had a private party for the team. And this what me and Bron connected. Like we, this is what we connected. So I get there, fly in, drive. I kept my bags in the car. I go in. They um come get me. Walk in the club. When I tell you this shit is lit, bro. When I tell you it's a small club. Rumor. Shout out to yeah, Rail. I was gonna up say was it that rumor? Yeah. Um. When I tell you this shit is lit, bro. I walk in there, JR still got his shirt off. You know, he ain't put his shirt on. 
So I walk in there, they they going crazy. They going crazy. I see Braun, Braun see me. What's up? What's up? Yeah. So I got down, grab, I yoke the nigga up. Around the neck, I yoke him. So he's six, bending six, down. Eight, six, I said, you said it, nigga. <laughs> you said it, nigga. You the motherfucking goat. You said it. Braun looking at me like, yeah, yeah. He give me the champagne. I done turned that shit. I don't drink. Yeah. Like everybody oh, okay. know me, I don't drink. Okay. But he done gave me the champagne. I turned that shit up. I'm in there like we just got down. I'm talking about we going crazy. We going crazy. And at that point, that's when LeBron James became the GOAT for me. For that, that, I respect that. That series. Yeah, yeah, I respect you gotta that. respect that. that. I respect that. He was there. Because yeah, you saw it. You saw it. Like, it, it yeah, yeah. He said it before it yeah. happened. Like, it, this is what we going to do. Bro, it, it was amazing. It, I ain't get it, bro. Like, <laughs> I did not get it. Like, I've seen so many leaders and stuff like that and then still this and your players and stuff. But come on, bro. 3-1 Golden State Golden State, Golden team, State at that time? But but State. you had just seen the Warriors beat the Thunder mm. from 3-1, so you didn't believe that they could come back? That even team seeing wasn't that? the Warriors, though. What you mean? The, the team, Cleveland team. The, the, was the, the Thunder no, team. The okay, Thunder see. team wasn't the Warriors. Yeah. Oh, I got you. I get what you're saying. Y'all don't remember that team? They yes. won 73-9. 73-9. Yeah. Bro, like we thought that, that yeah, shit was... Wardell? Wardell, bro. Have y'all seen him in person? Play? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. High Different. school. Different. Not but before he was Wardell. Hey, I'm going to tell you this. Red uh, went on Instagram. That day your son, you, you and your son at the house game. That hurt me, bro. And he had a Curry jersey on. Nah, it was, it was, it was my... Uh, my um son mom. Oh yeah, you went there. there. Oh yeah. That's yeah, you couldn't have been there. Uh, uh, <laughs> but no, he had his curry jersey on. And tell tell us that story what happened with that. She made me take it down, bro, because the um they said it was they were Bro, playing. if you know red, I'm I know I cut you off. Bro, <laughs> I don't think I ever seen red not smile. Like you know how them light skinned nigga, they always smile. They always happy for some reason. Him, Reggie, <laughs> all them niggas. <laughs> Curry, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, light skinned nigga just don't have problems. I don't know why. But anyway, this nigga red. I get on Instagram, I'm like, here go red with another positive speech. I click on, I'm like, oh shit, red cussing. <laughs> Out the gate. Motherfucker. I'm like, oh shit. Perfect example of how social media has done us and how we go to social media on some bullshit when we don't get the whole facts. Yeah. I was wrong, bro. All I seen was my little man called me and he was hurt. And only thing he told me was Trey Young, Trey Young get Trey gave took a picture with him, but all he so he was running out. Steph Curry, his favorite player ever. Mm. Steph dapped him up. That I couldn't even explain it. I was low key hating on his mom because that was I was supposed to take him. Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to take him. Word. But um, because I was gonna do Draymond already told me he go put the play in Come so he could, whatever yeah. whatever. So I wasn't in town. So the only thing was he got they ran out. He high. After that, <laughs> um, what's the nigga name? I don't even want to say his name. DeAndre, De, De, Deontay Murray. De, what, what? DeJounte? Murray. Yeah. Murray. DeJounte. My son was like, Murray wouldn't shake, wouldn't dap me up or wouldn't take a picture because I had on a Steph Curry jersey. Now, me personally, knowing sports, knowing the athletes, none of that registered with me. Mm-hmm. I was just mad. <laughs> <laughs> So I just go the fuck off. Like, Sorry. motherfucker, man, get y'all. We don't want you here nowhere. I'm just going. <laughs> the first oh, person shit. to see the first person to see it. The first person <laughs> to see it. He laughing his ass off. So I'm just going, I'm just going off and man, I ain't got that. My son, he don't know nothing about that, man. He they coming to see you play. You don't want this position. Don't be. Many times I done seen athletes can't take pictures, right. can't do this. I understand. Yeah. But you my, deal with players every right. day, bro. But my son told me that I lost it, bro, and mm-hmm. I was wrong. Cause then when I talked to his mama, she was like, 
Nah, he didn't, but he did it in a joke, a uh, playing manner. Like, uh uh-uh, uh, your jersey, uh uh-uh. uh. Like, he's still interacting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, you the op. But I, my son, it didn't get to me like that. Mm-hmm. My son just told me that he didn't, you know what I'm saying? So I was tripping, man. I, I took, and, shit. and yeah. I don't even be doing that, deleting posts and stuff, but I, I deleted it. But this was the first nigga to see <laughs> that he hit me in the DM like, bro, what happened? Hey, cause I went hey. back to screen with Coy. That's how you know you fucked up. That's how you know. That's how you know you got some messy shit on your Instagram, bro. When he get the goddamn oh, DM and goodness. he laughing at some shit, oh, oh, man, I done fucked up. Yeah, I was all. I was all bad from that. Hey, was you was you there when uh when Jr. threw the soup at uh at Tyloo? Uh, uh-uh. I ain't. I wasn't there with that. <laughs> nah, I wasn't there with that. that I ain't even know about that. And the coach, yeah, he yeah. threw a soup. Yeah, yeah he I threw a cup that. of soup Sorry. at him during Why? that playoff run. Oh shit! Because he wasn't playing. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, never... I was tripping. Yeah, I never <laughs> knew that. I never knew that at all. What had got you into uh like dealing with the players? Who was the first player? Because a lot of people don't know you uh you was around you know the Georgia Tech crew. Um, for the what Jack Jerry Jack and Jerry Jack? Hey Mo, he already mentioned Hey Mo. Uh-huh, that was yeah. one of the best. Yeah, that yeah. Them, yeah. Them, teams that go through there. Yeah, them my family. Shout out to um Wallace Prather. That's my um. So I oh, came up playing up. um I know, I know. AAU, mm-hmm. and Coach Prather was like a godfather. You played on the Celtics. Yeah, I played on the Celtics. Like when we first start rocking and rolling, mm-hmm. and um like you know Wallace Prather, my god brother, and he, you know he did um sports athlete. So Coach Prather on our way. Wallace went to Cornell, and he just used to talk to me all the time about my decision as far as college. And I went to Troy. I went mid-major because I had Georgia. I went on a visit with Florida State, Auburn, North Carolina. I was talking to all these people, but Coach Prather, like, kept it a buck with me. Like, you don't want to go to some of these spots because they really trying to sign you to get Donnell next mm-hmm. year. So Donnell, mm. Donnell Harvey was my best friend. Mm-hmm. And at the time, at his junior year, he was number four in the nation. His senior year, he was number one in the nation. So that Florida State done brought me on a um, recruiting visit and all that. But guess who come? What that? They bring Donnell yeah, with, with yeah. So they really trying to sell me to get me down there. So next year, they you know, know he coming. Y'all went to the they, same school. They know, yeah, we played together, Randolph Clay. Wow. Like that was my. That what, was what, my year, what year? What you came out? I came out ninety eight. Gotcha. Yeah, I came out ninety eight. So who was um? Uh, he was nice Who's in the number Georgia. One that year? Yeah. Um, me. Yeah. <laughs> no, not, in the nation. <laughs> in the nation. Me, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say you and who they had listed. <laughs> who they had listed. <laughs> who they had listed. <laughs> <laughs> who they had listed? <laughs> who they had listed? <laughs> um, that was like Joe Forte, Carlos mm. um, Boozer. Okay. Well, Boozer was with Donnell them, I think. But I'm no Joe Forte, um, Keith Bogan, mm. all them boys. Mm. That wasn't Chris no, Duhon. Chris Duhon? Nah, it's later. Nah, it's doing like late. early 2000s. Yeah, I, I remember Joe Forte. Nah, because they was with Donnell. Who was number? I don't know who's number one in '98. You gotta look that up. I'm looking at it because those boys. Because I played AAU after I graduated. I played that summer with Joe Forte and Al them. So they was. There we go, Al Harrington. Okay, they went yeah. to the face. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. So you asked me who got me? Who was the first one? Yeah, like um the Atlanta crew, mm-hmm. um Dwight, Josh Smith. And then, you know, like everything like Wallace had, you know, Derek Favors, Jerry Jacks, and um Amo and all them. Like you said, you were in Atlanta then. Yeah, we was we we had our run. We we definitely had our run. That was and that was yeah. the good era too yeah, with the yeah. music. Like that shit yeah, was. We going. had our run. Yeah. No, nah, we had our run. That that was that was good times, bro. Like that was that was good times. I'm talking about even back when Donnell made it to the NBA. I was tripping in college. Hmm. Like it was on semesters. I would have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I would have classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I would fly out Friday morning and don't come back to um, Monday night. I was in Damn. Dallas with um, Donnell. It's when Mark Cuban was yeah. Steve Nash. I was out there working out with Steve Nash wow. and Dirk. Like this one, Cube like really took over the team. Remember, he did the locker rooms and Twist it up, he yeah. was and yeah. Food and all that shit. Like yeah. I remember, they got swept by the Spurs that mm-hmm. playoff season, 
and we partied so hard that night. After, After a sweep? They got swept. <laughs> came back the um they got they got swept. That night we went to um uh uh but did they get sweet? Because did they get swept? Because long story short, they lost. Uh -huh. And when they got back, Cube sent limousines to everybody house. Everybody had a limo. Like me, um, Donnell, Courtney, Alexander, we all they all stayed in the same area. And I'm talking about, bro, this was my first time seeing somebody by the bar. Mm. Cube, bro, everybody in here. So bro, Mark Cube, he a real. Cube, everybody. Let me tell you, after the thing. Mm -hmm. After the um, after that party, we went to Dirk House for the after party. I'm waiting on Danella to come out. I'm in the truck. Q pull up beside me in a Lexus truck, playing. Y'all go make me lose my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Loud as hell, every window down. Yeah. Mark Cuban, bro. Yeah. You coming? Follow me. That's you hard. coming? Yeah, Mark. Yeah, Mark. We, now we he had partying. just took over the team. Wait, what? He when he, that's when catering oh. and every yeah. every they didn't game. do that. I shit. heard they had PlayStation every, in the locker room. The TV and shit. in yeah. the locker. Man, that was that was so crazy. Four people was bro. doing that shit, right? They nobody. Was nobody doing was doing that. Cube shit. Came, he, he changed he, it when up. When Cuban came in, I'm talking about all the players loved him, bro. Yeah, they said that's the big thing. Like the food, like the away team never used to get catering after the games, and he started that shit. Damn. Bro, he changed. He changed everything. And he was really like that, bro. He was sending like limos, like yo, we going out. Like he really tried to make the team camaraderie, like you know, because that's really important, yeah. bro. He was young. He's one of the youngest good. owners. Yeah, and he was up. Yeah. He just sold his company and all the stocks he had in YouTube. I mean, Yahoo. That nigga was up. Yeah, that was, was that was crazy. Up as hell. Yeah, he he definitely was straight. What 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 you think the the biggest thing that you be you know like because. With you knowing so much that you know now, like when you was talking to athletes, like putting them up on game, you know what I'm saying? Like like being smart with like investments and shit like that. Um, honestly, bro, I didn't really I wasn't really good at that. We wasn't good at that. Because I know I remember a meeting sitting in a meeting with them asking Dwight to buy an Uber. Snapchat. Mm. When Snapchat popped, when Snapchat popped and it was everybody started talking about it, I went to Snapchat to, you know, start a Snapchat and it was like um it had the little symbol to just re-download or refresh. I had already had it. Mm. I had already had it like in 2013 when they was trying to get us to mm -hmm. um, invest. invest in it back in yeah. 2013. So now years later when it came back, I didn't have to buy the app or get the app. All I had to do was re refresh. You refresh it or whatever you call that stuff. It. Yeah, There you go. All I had to do was update it. So the investment Damn. thing was tough. And then with me personally, like I handled, I had my bumps and bruises as far as finding out the um, – keeping my business straight because it was a gift and a curse with me with being tight with my clients. Mm -hmm. And it was like, all my clients was like family. You know Man. what I'm saying? And then I went through the, oh, he's stealing. He's charging too much. He's doing this. He's doing that. So the financial part, I always stayed away from because I had so much pressure on me to make sure I keep everything straight. So I had a big hiccup, and it was a lot to try to get everything straight. So for years, every single thing my company did, I wrote it down. It would be in the system, but I would write it down. So if everybody wanted to come and talk, it's right here. And you can't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was going through all that stuff with finances and stuff. So the investment thing, I just always kind of stayed away from it. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't even really... I wasn't really into like giving so much advice or whatever. It was just like when we start trying to manage athletes and stuff, from what I seen, my whole thing, I used to tell them, we start in here and we got to get here. And when you get here, your lifestyle shouldn't change. Just because you out the lead, your lifestyle shouldn't change. So along this journey, we need to use these people 
use these platforms so when we get here, we be able to do this, but that shit ain't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nigga be tripping. Hey, and it don't tripping. be, honestly, bro, it don't be the players. It be family, wives, financial advisors, and all that stuff. Because all the stuff I went through, me and the players, we could, we still hang out. Yeah, y'all, y'all, out. y'all yeah. can still we see still each other and talk each other out. Still talk and all that yeah. stuff is love. If they got a problem, we pulling up, whatever, whatever. It's just the outside. You know what I'm saying? It's the outside and what's in their ear. But other than that, man, it's, I mean, it's all love, though. How you had came, uh, you you cool with uh, Spank, Kevin Hart, Plastic Cup Boys, all them? How you had getting get into, uh, like, how you mix the sports with the comedy? Um, I met them with Jack. Mm-hmm. You know, I met them with Jack. And um, so Jack did some business with them. And so we was going, and we met Kev and stuff. So we was in L.A., and we all hung out. And I was like, man, this little motherfucker funny as fuck. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I was literally, we went to the club, then we went to an after party. And when I tell you, we laughed all fucking night. It had to be before uh, yeah, what Kevin his, special, yeah. his special drop, right? This before his special drop, right? Don't quote me on a year, but it had to be 13, maybe 14 at the latest. So he on fire, right? Yeah. Yeah, he Kevin Hart. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, he he definitely Kevin Hart. Mm. At this time, he he Kevin Hart. Yeah. They, they the Plastic Cup mm. boys, he Kevin Hart. Mm. And the thing that stuck out to me, like- But you knew him before this, though. No. You, oh, you, okay, this, okay. This when I met them back oh, in 14. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. With gotcha. Um, Jack. This uh-huh. when I met them and we started hanging out with them and everything. And my thing that got me was the whole crew funny as hell. Mm-hmm. Wayne ain't even no comedian, but Wayne funny as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, like, people don't see, like, Harry, Joey, like, they, they funny as hell. But I think me, me and Wayne became the closest. Mm-hmm. And we would hang out and all that stuff. And then me and Spank just got mad cool. So, you know, when Spank was doing shows with like three people in the audience, you know, him and I, you know, little shows, when you start, when mm-hmm. it's two, yeah, three like people in the up, audience. Yeah, uh-huh. You know, when I used to come to your shows and you, <laughs> you before you was now, and you had like <laughs> two, three people, your cousins came to support you. Nah, my co- it was my mom. cousins. Oh, it was my cousins. Oh, okay. Them niggas still don't come. But, you know, I was... <laughs> I was going to, um, you know, see Spank, Naeem. I would go see they stand up. Like, might take a little date. You know, shit, that's like plastic cup, boy. You know, I'm going to go. <laughs> that's my people, you know what I'm saying? That's my people, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so I would go um, go to Spank shows. And we just, you know, it went from there, bro. And then over the years, like, they showed me. You know, I've, I've gotten so much advice from, advice from Kev. You know, he been here in Atlanta like shooting a movie, actually. Yeah. I think they just rapped or whatever, or they bought the rap. Yeah, they but, this the last week for it. Yeah, so I just get a, you know, I've got so much advice. Bruh's so smart, you know what I'm saying? And, like, he might be the hardest working dude bro, ever. Like, it's, it's different, stop. bro. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this about Kevin. Bro, if, you know how when you be seeing how people be, like, going against niggas and stuff like that, in every story when they tell about Kev, they always talk about how he looked out for him though. Like even when Monique came out about him, yeah, he had gave me some money, but, but like, <laughs> but ain't no but. That one, but I'm talking about if you meet, bro, bro, so cool and so real and like, nigga, I don't know about them, but I can't hate you. Like that one, that what I'm thinking in my head. What like, get me is when niggas say he ain't funny. That, like that, that, that shit. That's, that's get me. Like that's, he don't have. Hate, that's hate. He that's don't have hate. to be your number one. That's just yeah, hate, medium. That's just hate. But like you're telling me, he doing the. The nigga did a stadium. Not even that. Bro. Sold bro, out. You won't even answer my call now. If you do a stadium <laughs> now, come on, bro. A bro. stadium. I'm talking about naturally. No, funny, no, bro. no. If you do a stadium <laughs> or you do an in and I'm not gonna be able to get you on the phone. You shut the hell up, bro. <laughs> All right. I'm Naturally listening. funny though. This how you know when somebody funny. Can't watch his interviews. Yeah. Just watch shit in the interview. And that shit he just did with the Tom Brady's. And that nigga killed that shit. Oh, the roast was fine. Bro, you ain't watch the roast. Watch watch that that shit shit it's gonna take a while. Watch it's three hours. Bro, watch that shit tonight. Oh yeah, I ain't checked that I out. I didn't see it either, but yeah. I seen some of the clips. Yeah, some of the clips with him and Casa. Yeah. 
Hey, watch that shit watch. tonight. Yeah, that Tom Brady roast though, bro. It was I'm good. On. Yeah, that shit. Bit long. Nah, that shit Kev, was good. Kev That's why I stayed away from it. That Three hours. Three it hours. took me two sessions. <laughs> now I watched it on the airplane. That shit was. Oh, you be flying I'm far. On, so. I'm lucky. Yeah, you stay traveling. Yeah, you stay traveling. Nah, Delta miles. That's why crazy. you don't answer the phone. It be you be in the air. Nah, it don't. That don't even be the case, bro. That don't even be the case. <laughs> you said players now could easily play in the eighties and nineties. Like, name me 10 players who you know for sure would dominate the 80s and 90s right now. Only 10? Yeah, yeah I'm saying the top 10. Like, the top 10 where you would be like, damn, you wouldn't even got down be thinking about, like. So, look, look, I'm going to ask you this. Michael Jordan, now. Michael Jordan could play in any era. Absolutely. You got him with that. Larry yeah, Bird can? can? Yeah, you, yeah. Can't, you can't take that from him. All right, who else you could say play in any era from that? From, from back then, yeah, or we, oh, back don't, then. don't name the 10 yet. Yeah, name. don't name the 10 yet. Tell me what players so I can know, like, what tier. All the what dogs. Tier. All the dogs. Like, we got it. We can't We can't disrespect their craft and what, sure. like, what, what they are. But the game was different, too, though, Rick. Regardless, they're going to adjust. That That's the same thing with the players now. They're going to adjust. Chuck, Chuck would be cool. Scotty. Bro, if, Scotty. We, no. if we no. sit you. Elijah Juan. If we Let's sit go. you in. North Dakota and tell you to do stand up and your first one or your first two, it ain't hitting. You gonna go back to the room and figure that shit out. Oh, yeah. Cause this is your profession. You're gonna figure it out. Yeah. Bro, they gonna figure that shit out on all levels, bro. Bro, these you talking about the greats. Isaiah, Magic. Magic was a cold ass nigga. I mean Penny, cold. Penny would be cold. Penny. Who? Penny. For sure. Nah. I, think, I think it'd be like a harder argument to see who back then could translate to the game now. Yeah, yeah. I think, top, sure. I think top I think they'll be they'll be more athletic. It's way more talent now. Yeah, than for it sure. Probably would but back the then. game done changed as well too. Now. The yeah. skill. That's you know what I'm saying. Everybody, it's way yeah. more talent now, so it'll be harder to find the players. That's back true. Then I could go for that. They could fit in. But now. only thing they say why they wouldn't be able to play is the hard fouls and shit. But can we look up how? Tall and how much Isaiah Thomas weighed. There you go. Tiny, Isaiah Thomas six six foot six one. Tiny Archibald. Was he six foot? Yeah, on paper, that's what Zeke, they yeah. Zeke six foot six one. Isaiah Thomas might be Zeke, under six right. feet. Yeah, I work with Zeke. Bro. Yeah, he's, he's six, six foot feet. six one. Oh, okay. So yeah. Chris Paul wouldn't be able to. He'll be a dog out Come there on, in the eighties. That's his. That's his era. Eighties, nineties. Chris Paul. Really? And then he would have like, won a championship. How do you niggas dribble now? Yeah. Bro, what they show? I saw that a meme or something. When the commentator Mike went around his back, and the commentator went crazy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> he wrapped around with to the <laughs> same was just hand. Fire back then. You know? <laughs> nah, it is. You can't disrespect. You can't disrespect nobody. But just to say they can't play back then is that. That's just absurd to me. Yeah, like I agree. you do have some soft. I, agree. I will say this: you got some punk dudes in the league. You got some punk huh. ass dudes in the league. You got some about? soft players. Personally, whatever, whatever, you got all that. But, bro, you got some dogs. Like, you got dudes that eat, sleep, live this shit. They don't – look at KD, bro. Like He, he in the no, club listen, shooting. Listen, bro, listen, listen. <laughs> bro, I thought that shit was fake. Man, I, thought, I thought that was AI You saw him, you saw him red. The video, bro, the nigga hit him with the – That was a real thing? Listen, I thought it was AI. Bro, I thought it was AI. Bro, I don't care nothing. Bro, don't care nothing about anything but bro, who? basketball. I seen him, I seen him in Car. What what's the thing in Toronto, Carabana? Yeah, in August. Dude? Yeah, Carabana. We had a. I ain't gonna say we had. That wasn't my. <laughs> <laughs> they had a. They had an after party. Uh -huh. After one of the thing, they had an after party, and it was at a house or whatever. Everybody there. Rich Paul and KD shooting for money. Rich, what they Rich no, for? Rich say he can shoot like with anybody. He oh, says this. For real? Yeah. I put Rich up against a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, so he no, uh, he said that Rich on air owed, a lot on TV. If Rich yeah. see this, Rich, you still owe me four grand too, cause we we were shooting the UCLA and he ain't paid me yet. I'm, I'm gonna holler at Rich about that. So he could shoot like that, Rich. KD got mad, cause mm. Rich had went up, and then when Rich went up, they started betting. Uh -huh. KD came out on top, but KD got mad, cause Rich out there talk. Rich be shooting with all these. Talking big yeah, shit. He yeah. talk big shit. Rich be talking big, and I'm talking about Rich shooting from half court. Mm. 
drain, like, draining consistently. It. Like the the thing I'm telling you about the bat. Yeah. We at UCLA, he got to make four out of five from half court. So you knowing there's a lock for you, like ain't no way I don't take this, bro. Dog, rich, rich like shooting, rich like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I seen him and KD, and I just saw, bro. They been drinking. This is when, um, back to back drop. It, it was it was insane. Oh um, man, KD he couldn't be thinking right because he was standing beside me when Drake played the shit, and he went crazy. We went everybody going crazy, and so it's after the party, they shoot him. Rich go up. KD like, nah, fuck that nigga, run it back. So he just get mad and just start, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nigga sweating and everything. Yeah. They got in a full outfit and everything. He just out there, yeah. I ain't, he ain't laughing or nothing. He talking shit. He's like, don't get it twisted, Rich. Like, bro, they really yeah. out there shooting. And I'm like, yeah, bro, tripping. Bro, we had an after party. And, and look. This not even an NBA player that done made you mad. <laughs> bro, this is an agent. agent. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you. Rich Paul a real nigga, Hey, bro. I'm telling nah, you. What kind of shit he was talking to him, though? To oh, make Rich be just, talking like all kind of shit. Like he garbage. Nah, he ain't saying, saying that. that. Just like, he you can't shoot that. with me. Like, don't oh, okay. get this shit twisted. Like, y'all can't sh- out shoot me. Mm. I'm an agent. Don't get, like, anything like that. Yeah, it ain't yeah. no, like, you hey, garbage you, uh, or no shit. You got any Boo-Ray stories? Um. Because I know Rich played Boo-Ray. Not with Rich. I, I don't. No, nah, not not with not with Rich. I done seen. I done seen a lot of the big games and stuff like that with Kev and you know all them. Um, um nah. I know. Um, I seen. Uh, I seen when. Um, what's your boy name? Sorry, ass nigga played for the Magic man. I used to. I hate that nigga. He went to Duke, man. I just knew I could have had that position. <laughs> what well, yeah, well, when the white now, man. JJ Reddick? No, hell uh-huh. no. He was backing up Jameel now, man. Um, Chris Duhon. Duhon. <laughs> Duhon bought like a Ferrari off of one one year. Brought like a Ferrari just off of Boo Ray. For real? He was just keeping his Boo Ray money. He was like, yeah, this what got me. I think him and Gil was popping shit or son one year. Buhan was like, hey, I got this off of Boo Ray. Like, bought a Ferrari, but you know. Boo Ray? Mm-hmm. What is that? It's it was a card game. game. Oh, I never played it. Yeah, it was a card game that, um, you know, all of them played. Smooth and them used to play that shit a lot. And um, all them niggas played that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've seen Duhan. niggas. Ferrari off that shit. Yeah, Chris Duhan got like a Ferrari off that shit or something. Damn, I needed that position. Man. <laughs> you should have had the shit red. You was the best one coming out of 98 and shit. They used to put Duhan in the game, man. They used to pick his ass up 94 feet, man. But all them Duke players <laughs> looked like they were like that till they got to the league. Till, till now recently. Facts. But back then, sure. I like could who? say only like I'm talking about Duke players, I never took them serious. Like who? Like Chris Duhan? Uh, not just him, man. Been a single, I can name all of them to a certain time. You can't name all of them. Bro, to a certain time, Red, people only would talk about people like Christian Leitner. Then your boy, uh, Grant Christian Hill. and Christian Leitner won shit. Grant Hill was cool. The boy who fell off the bike. Now nah, he was, said, yeah, he was cool. was fine. This nigga said. Till he fell off the bike. Yeah. Yeah, first of all, this nigga said Grant Hill was cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tripping. Like, That's I'm crazy. not, bro, he when I say cool. The, the yeah, stamp of approval. You know no, I mean? yeah, I'm saying say cool. No, when I say <laughs> Grant Hill was cool, like Grant don't Hill put him cool. with the niggas I'm talking about. Like yeah, Grant yeah, Hill yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm don't, sorry. don't just, speak just on just him. Let me know. I'm sorry. No, Grant <laughs> Hill was a dog. He had his own shoe. Right. I gotta get used to yeah. it. I'm sorry. Detroit Pistons. Yeah, yeah. Detroit Pistons. So bro. what you think about JJ? JJ who? Reddit. Solid NBA career, right? Yeah, NBA career. I'm saying like. I don't know what you want me to Carlos, say. Like, Carlos Boozer. Boozer. Boozer won shit. Man, he had a solid career. Stop and that, shit, and career. No, and that shit he did with LeBron, <laughs> when he, he got out of his contract, they were supposed to give him some more money, he took his sorry ass to Utah and ain't win shit since. And was That's hoping at Utah. Loyal, he still, he he was hoping at Utah. That was because of Darren Williams, bro. Nigga, they had AK. Come on, bro. They was Andrew Carlico. He should have stayed in they Cleveland, sleep on Darren bro. Williams for real. You remember when he did that? That was some cold. lame ass yeah. shit, bro. That grass ain't always green on the other mm-hmm. side. It's real. And, but that's the business part of it. Like that's the that's the whole business part of it. That shit. 
That's crazy. And LeBron get niggas money. When he got, you was there when uh, he got Trish in that money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we went out. Nigga. <laughs> nigga. Had a little Dad, shindig. Yeah. I remember it. Vividly. He got everybody paid. He yeah. got Sean paid. Della, he got Della 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 He got Della all of them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, oh, that's, that's I the thing, about that, bro. That's, that's Braun, bro. Like, he run everything, bro. Like, he, I don't, I don't even know what to say, bro. What you think about Bronny? We need to draft him first. Who the hawk? Who's we? Yeah, no, no, stop. So stop. Braun could come. <laughs> That's Sell crazy. them tickets for sure. Let's get him, nigga. We ain't about to win. Trey won the league. Sure. We'll get, we'll get when are, are we going? Are we going to the? Are we going to the? Um, the party finals anytime oh. soon? Hell no. Not, not so. No. Why we can't take two years, get Bronny, and let them know is no way in hell we're gonna trade him. Because Bron probably tried to pull some strings to get a trade. <laughs> we stand firm. We're not trading him. Bron probably mm-hmm. don't want to be in Atlanta. Hell man. no. Hell no. Nah. Poor Bronny. Why not? Oh, I'm saying, bro, like, he focused when it comes to- can't be low-key here, yeah. bro. He right. can't be low-key here, bro. Listen. And he got too many niggas he cool yeah, with in that Yeah, bro, rap niggas and all that though, shit, but, but This is last is, year. His son is here, though. Y'all thinking about four or five years ago, six years ago right, when right, Bron- right, We're right. talking about making history playing with his son. He'll put all that shit aside. I don't think Atlanta good for Bronny, neither. It ain't about that. This is for us for two years. <laughs> this is for us. It ain't about the tagline. Or Brunt. This is for us. This shit is for us. Like we hey. need, we need it right now, bro. Right. So you ain't fucking with the boy from France. I don't know Sorry. anything Alex about Sarf. any of them. I don't feel bad then. I swear to God, I don't know nothing about. Them. I mean, don't I nobody know nothing yeah, about them. I watch more women games than men and all that stuff. Dude. Yeah. What you think about Caitlin Clark? The um, goat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the not go right to now. Not right now. You think she will? She's the go to college, but I think not right now. I'm not saying she the goat right now, but I think oh, she gonna I think she's soon. amazing, bro. She yeah, she I think I Hey, think WNBA, amazing. they being hard on her, bro. I mean, it's, they hating. <laughs> it's the hazing shit, bro. Yeah, that that, that ain't like hazing any, what they doing. Like right. any other rookie, well, well, maybe a little bit more. They don't I listen. Like that's what I'm trying. They, they, they not hazing. They not being tough. They don't like her. Yeah, yeah. it's the comments. She don't say after. shit. It's the comments after. It ain't the acts. It's just the comments. What they say the media, like saying the media be. She this is all, y'all should be lucky that, that yeah, y'all, she's we, here. Yeah, we away and all that. Y'all stuff. gonna be flying let's, uh, spirit if y'all don't stop fucking. Yeah, with her. let's let's ride this wave. Like let's what she's doing for the game. I think everybody know that you can't take that away from her. Yeah, for sure. So let's ride the wave and nigga, my girl said something about my wife, not my girl. <laughs> the nigga said she wanted to go to the game in Atlanta. When when she come in? Yeah, I'm like, huh? Like this it is different. Different, yeah. Yeah. When they play here, Marcia, can we look that up? This month. And she, yeah, it's July night uh, June nineteenth. June twenty first, maybe, yeah. Yeah. Hey, we, we going? So before that red, she gone. ain't never mentioned no WNBA game. Man, she don't even do she took me, oh, that was a hard game. She took me for my birthday. It was on my birthday. It was, that was crazy. Thank you, baby. <laughs> she took me to the Hawks and Lakers game, courtside, mid, center court. You know what I'm saying? On my birthday. So we sitting there. I'm up there. Brian coming down. What's up? They looking like, who the fuck is this nigga? Yeah. <laughs> all the players are yeah. and all that stuff. And so, but nah, that was a that was a dope game. But she don't wifey don't be into that shit. She don't. Yeah. Yeah, she don't be. But she said, uh, matter of fact, it was two nights ago. She was like, I want to go to one of them games. And she wanted to go see the sky play. Cause her homegirl, hey. Ty Young. Oh yeah. She done stole she my coaching. Friend. Yeah, she, yeah. <laughs> she coached. Ty used to be my homegirl, but yeah, her and Toy is so cool yeah. now. They so cool now and all that shit. But Ty used to be my home. <laughs> she wanted to talk about she wanted to go to Chicago to a game, but she don't really be on June twenty first. Fever version. Yeah, I said it was June twenty first. August twenty sixth. Y'all get tickets, get an extra. I want to roll with y'all. Man, you be at the game <laughs> anyway. Take my In number, August twenty sixth. Uh, hey, um, fill in for my brother. <laughs> we had saw uh, <laughs> like you need a damn ticket. Bro. No, I was filling for my brother. We saw the uh, Mavericks play the Hawks. We saw Luca. We saw Luca live on the set. Reggie was there. Red was there. I was there. This is the seventy-three point game. Uh, do you do you got the Mavs winning? Man, 
Man, that's crazy. At the my same wife, look. my wife was with me that game. Yeah, it, I saw it, it, was, it was date night. It, she didn't give a damn about the game. It was just date night, and she kept asking me like, "What's going on?" and all that shit. And I'm telling her like, "Yo, chill out." Like, this <laughs> shit is, like bro, I'm what. This was my first time seeing bro in person. Yeah, mm. mine too. I've never seen yeah. And I'm wow. telling him, I'm texting Nav throughout the game like, bro, this this nigga is tripping. <laughs> And the whole time he's talking cast Absolutely. shit, like this my house. Y'all yeah. should have, y'all shouldn't have traded yeah, he like, me. He said that. Yeah. No, he said that shit multiple times. Like, yeah, this is my house. Yeah, mm. he was talking shit. Like the whole he time. was man. I'm talking about. I'm hitting that. You like, can hear him? bro. Yeah, I you, went far. You can hear, yeah, you can hear. Yeah. What you thought I was sitting man, at? Man, I heard every I word. I saw what? you. <laughs> every word, bro. I'm talking about. Bro, be talking. Thank and this you. wasn't like the time where me and you went. I go, <laughs> let me tell you about myself. Well, we gonna get back to that, Red. So we we get our little press, you know, to go do the games. So they got a section where we supposed to sit. So I'm telling myself, well, I'm not sitting way up there. He was like, what you it's mean? It's not that bad. Bro. That shit yes, it is. No, the yeah, media no, says no, it's not that bad. Don't. It used to be horrible. Don't it's not that bad, bro. They like on the second level. Yes, it's it is. Like, it's in between the second level and the first level. I don't give a fuck. That's too far. I, I was like, bro, I'm not sitting up here. So you like, what you want to do? I'm like, nigga, finna go. All oh, them empty seats down there. I'm going to sit down there. So I'm going to sit down there. Every, you know, when you sit in some seats that ain't yours, everybody walk up. You, you look up, make sure. <laughs> Facts. So Marcel, I, this one I realized, I was like, Marcel don't do shit the wrong way. Anybody he see come on that road, he automatically get up and walk. I'm like, bro, <laughs> sit your ass this down, bro. This is not bro. true. This nigga be lying. Marcel, so you didn't leave before me? I definitely left before you. But I left because the main guy of the media was looking. I'm like, yo, he can't see but us sitting what, in these seats. That's what media do, though. That's what all But no, they do. can't see you see, sitting in those seats, bro. Or they're going to revoke look, your when shit, When we bro. went, bro, we was damn near right behind bro, the Celtics. Sitting there bro. chilling. But yeah, hey, but, if, but you're pass. right behind the guy who's the main guy of the media and he sees you, it's going to be a problem. Anyway. What kind of problem, though? What they going to do? They going to tell you to leave? I no, they might revoke your press pass. I don't give a fuck passes. about watching the games <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. You got to go. Appreciate it. God damn. I can't see no more of this shit. Anyway, but at this game, we got them sitting down. It's uh, it's I'm taking one of the kids. It's their birthday. This their birthday gift. You know when it stopped being their birthday gift? Oh, when boy. I start watching Luca, man, sit the fuck down. <laughs> like I'm excited. Bro, I'm right there with you. Yeah, I'm, but I'm. They eat. T- Thank you, man. This is for me now. <laughs> fuck that, bro. I'm behind the bench. I'm listening to him. Kyrie's not playing. Yeah, so Kyrie I'm, cheering on this side. I'm right here. I'm right here looking at him like talk to the teammate. Like I, I'm I'm pretty sure he don't really fuck with Tim Hardaway. Who that? Like, Luca. Luca. Like he's just like mm. Hardaway he's been out there sorry fucking this up year. and he, mm. Luca fussing at everybody and just like orchestrating everything and just I'm just looking at bro. I'm telling Toya, like, yo, chill out. Like you <laughs> This is greatness right here. Really? Like she talking about, babe, let's go to the back. I want to get a drink. Well, you go get it. <laughs> like you, the you, time ain't like, the time. Like, this ain't. I'm and then we in the back for halftime. I'm like, yo, because her manager was there with her. I left her with her manager, and I'm I'm gonna be in the seat because I want to see when the third quarter tip off. I want to see this game. Like right. I'm a student of the game. I love the game and the performance, bro. Put on it was crazy, bro. It was crazy. You, you think he could have got a hundred if he wanted to? That's a stretch. Yeah, yeah that's a stretch. I don't think because at the, if, tough, if y'all man. watch towards the end of the game, they start doubling him like nigga, you not yeah. scoring no more. Somebody else got to shoot, and they fucked around and fouled him, and that's how he went to the free throw yeah. line. Yeah, that, he was doing a little shit like that. He, yeah, that was a stretch. He could have had his jersey number for a shit show. I think he could have <laughs> got. I wanted him to get eighty. Yeah, I wanted them to go. I'm glad I would. Man, the, I couldn't believe that, bro. bro. This what I was I so confused because there's some real Hawks fans at them games. Yeah, they were like, "You cheering for the I nigga? Mean, ain't cheering for the wrong team? I'm not here for no goddamn Hawks." <laughs> I was there for the Hawks. Do you but see I what the see. fuck I got on, yeah. nigga? This ain't nothing Hawks bird. related. <laughs> we bought these tickets clearly for Luca. <laughs> And, and hopes to see Kyrie as well. But when he didn't play, I'm glad he didn't because I got to see 73. Nah, that was a that was a that was a that was So one that of shit the, was different. That was one of the best performances I done seen. What got you into weight no more? My dad with um 
my dad would uh colon cancer. Mm-hmm. He had he went through that. Um, yeah, he went through that, and just going to um going to the appointment with him, talking to the doctor and all that. He was talking about health and all that stuff, and then um I just started. You know, I used to go former athlete. I go hoop, go to L.A. Fitness. Three sets of bench press, three sets of close, <laughs> go squat, leg press, I'm done. Mm-hmm. You know, it was just a simple thing. But I started diving um, deeper into fitness and learning about stuff. So I just started, I got a trainer, shout out to Corey over at Lovely Bodies. I started going going to um, train with him. And I just started getting a passion for it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And... It just started pulling me away from everything, and year went, year went, and then I just told um, that 5K y'all came to, mm-hmm. the 5K y'all came to, um, shout out to Smooth. Smooth got a lot to do with this, too. We in Miami after shoot around at our favorite little pizza spot. Me and Smooth in there. A kid come up to Smooth. Asked for a picture, whatever. Kid was a little overweight, and after the kid left, Smooth was just like, "Man, how they let the kid get that big or whatever?" Man, I wish boom, boom, boom. I'm like, "Bro, won't you do something about it? Like when we get back, won't you do something about it?" He like, "What you mean?" I said, "Let's do something to fight kid children obesity." Mm. So he was like, "Well, put it together." So I tried to put some stuff together. It didn't end up panning out, and so I think I mentioned it to Jack before, or whatever. But you know that wasn't they lane. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really got time. Day to day operations yeah. of that shit. Yeah. So it hit me one day. My home girl invited me to a 5K, and I went, but I didn't run. But I saw it. I'm like, man, I can do this. And I'm laying beside the perfect person to do it. Like her demographic is the everyday person. It ain't really the gym rats and all mm-hmm. that. So that's the thing with wait no more. Like we do have fit people in the gym that, you know, work their ass off and stuff. But our main demographic is the everyday person that struggle with the day-to-day, that whatever, Go whatever. out. So, bro, I did go, that first. All that type of shit. Yeah. That act vegan, you know, <laughs> claim they eat vegan yeah. and stuff. <laughs> so, um, we did our first 5K, you know, appreciate y'all coming out. You know, I had to pay some talent to come out and, you know, yeah. All our other friends came out, like Rashida, Kurt, Candy, and Todd, mm-hmm. my yet and them. All our other friends came out just to, you off know, fuck with us and strength. support us. Yeah. Like, bro, it was crazy. Like, they people doing drops for us, 2 chain, like, Tip, can Tiny, all of them. Tiny didn't run, but Tiny and them came out. They brought their kids. Everybody just showed love off the strength. But, you know, we had a couple of person that we had to pay to come out. But it worked out, the shit. I'm here today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It worked out. It was one of my best investments I made, bro. What you year know? was that? Uh, 18. Yeah, yeah 2018. Yeah, 18. And now, like, you know how sometimes people get to something and stick to it. But I, I know personally a lot of people who were going, like, coming, and then they, you will see the difference. So, I mean, like, you you had a plan and stuff. I ain't going to lie, bro. I don't get into, like, I don't take away from, like, this is my first year as a coach. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this is my first year as a coach. And, like, guys like yourself, what y'all got going on, other dope ass, it's some dope ass trainers in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. So I'll never take away from anybody, anybody programs or nothing. But, bro, the results I've gotten this past year is fucking remarkable, bro. Like, I done had a couple hundred pound lose. Hundred, like hundred pounds. I just got a guy did thirty one pounds last month. Damn, you know what I'm saying? That's but incredible. the joy to get me is when people come in the office happy, talking about I'm out of the pre diabetic stage. Yes, sir. Mm. <clears throat> Crying, I'm off my blood pressure medicine. Yep. Like it, that's the shit that do it for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't get into all of this and that, whatever, whatever. That's the shit that do it for me. So. Yeah. No, nah, that that's like you got a purpose. But shit. Like it start it, it gotta start with them as well. And then it's like y'all make it cool. I will say that. 
Cause it's like it ain't like Toy ain't right next to you and shit. You, like when you come, she got them jump roping. Like you know what I'm saying. So it's like you ain't got people who just doing drops. The people actually they're doing it. They doing the 5K. So it's like I'm not going there and just people telling me to go and they ass not there. Yeah, you might be walking beside or running beside somebody you see on TV. Yeah, that came right. out to like genuinely support. Like ain't charging you or nothing, and it ain't no you know I got to pay for an appearance. Right. But you know, some <laughs> bro, shut your ass up, bro. What? What? Who convinced you to get on TV? That ain't even your. Like you, you always since that I shit. know you be you be laid back. That shit was hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie. But honestly, they made it. Wifey made it easy. Mm -hmm. Like it, no, I ain't gonna say it was hard because like when she asked me, it wasn't no drawback because she ain't even asked me at first. And how she asked me, she was like, "What you think? They want a boom, boom, boom." What you think? You were thinking you business like this a way we could. Oh, and it was I, I signed up for this shit. I know who I married and I okay. know what it was. And is a we was doing the T I and Tiny family hustle and it was a family show. It wasn't the throwing chairs at each other, yeah. the drama <laughs> shit, drama whatever, whatever. Well, it was a shit. family show. Yeah. And she always told me and she always told me that she'll make sure and that's the thing with the shows she do. She have a lot of control, or they ain't about to be just blindsided. Oh, she for sure. always was like, I'm gonna make sure you good, and I don't want my man out here looking like no weak ass nigga on reality or anything yeah. like that. Just anyway. to sell, like so make some views yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah so no. I trust her with that. I've always trusted her with that. So it was it wasn't hard at all. Like it it just be, you know, just finding time to shoot and different things like that. But it ain't it ain't hard at all. Cause what made me think about that? Cause you don't say like when players they get on TV and shit, the relationships be. Oh, that shit done. One thing you can't do is cheat the game. You cannot cheat the game. That's I I I feel like that on all sports. Mm -hmm. Like these niggas, like for instance, I know we always go to Bron and it's different, but we were sitting at breakfast and we were giving this nigga a quiz. He knew every single person in the NBA. What? Bronda? <laughs> he a nerd, bro. Listen, bro. He knew every single person in the NBA. Hmm. Even players that don't. That niggas ain't even playing. I ain't not. Like, I don't, I'm not saying practice squad. Oh, or I ain't. I'm <laughs> talking about on the roster. Yeah. Like, bro knew. Like, they ninth man. Now, ninth but, or ten man. No, no, no. 12, 13, yeah. where they went to school. Oh, that's buddy. He went to he went to uh mid major. He went to Samford. Oh yeah, he went to UConn. Oh, that's such and such went to Bruh knew everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like Chris Paul, Steph, like like Rondo. Like they when I tell you they they wired different, bro. And they really they just, they students of the game. Like, they students of the game, and they take that shit real fucking. Matter of fact, after that championship, mm -hmm. after that championship, mm -hmm. that following week, we went to Vegas for five days. Every day, me, Bron, and Tristan is working out like clockwork. After a championship? The following week, we went to Vegas. After they won the championship, we're in the hotel every day working out. And I just, you can't cheat it. You have to be all in. Once you start, I mean, some people doing it. Once you start doing TV, once you get into the limelight, the media, and some all that Some people can't stuff, handle it. They ain't, yeah. It's hard, bro. KD, KD is a perfect example. KD is KD. KD don't even brush his hair. No he don't shit. care about he shit don't but basketball. He don't care about nothing but basketball. Bro. He don't care what people like. He don't, he don't give care a fuck. how many memes and everything. Bruh still do not care what you say about his hair. Cause he he's like, cause see all that, like, fuck it, I'm gonna start putting waves. Yeah, I'm gonna brush my hair. <laughs> nah, fuck it. He like, nigga, say what the fuck you wanna say. I'm gonna go drop 35 tomorrow. You so you in this whole world, man, and so you have no vices. You say you don't drink. Don't right? smoke. Okay, cool. 
when did that it, it's his birthday. You don't. I, I take shots. Yeah, on yeah, you don't took shots. And I got fucked up on my. Yeah, I, yeah. That's I wasn't finna let you like not say. <laughs> Cause you said we we're gonna be honest, so man, it ain't me dropping no news. So I sense. just didn't want you so to be you lying. Know how to, you know, you got you just as a motherfucker. With so that. what helped me with it? Now the part we out partying yeah. at the club and stuff like that. I always I'm always the one sitting back. You know what I'm saying? All right, bro, it's time to go. I that's because you're you know, essentially much, working. We going. Yeah, I'm all. I was always babysitting. I got you. Always babysitting. Yeah, like, bro, it, it's time to go. Let's let's get out of here or whatever. So I n- never, you know, I was always the sober. Every player needs that. Shit I think, too, bro. bro. I think that'd be the back the backwards thing with me, and I think this probably was my hindrance. Like, uh, reason why I say that, like, um, discipline. Cool. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, di- I'm like, sure I'm, no, you, cause you, you extremely right. You, you being observant, but like, bro, red. When I'm in that mode, I'm in that mode, nigga. It's been time where I don't been around Los. Los is the Los. I might be the driver, like Los, like you know what I'm saying? Cause this why I most of the time if me and Los doing shows or I'm on the road with Los now, I keep the keys that keep him from leaving. Cause if you don't be down there at a certain time, Los will leave your motherfucking ass. He don't let Clay. Me. He don't give a fuck. He'll leave. So I always keep the key. But if we hanging and I get to drinking, I forget like the discipline part. Like I gotta make sure we straight. Yeah. It's like, boy, it's time to have fun. We don't have a good show. <laughs> like, but that just nah. come with years. And you got but that. Them. But no, the, the thing is, that's different. Like, I'm always the bad guy. See, you, you're rich. You and Los, them, y'all rich. Y'all, <laughs> you're you're oh, like so. the players. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you need y'all need a me. You see what I'm saying? And come around, bro. Like y'all need a me as far as um somebody that's gonna be sober. Somebody go be yeah. you know take care of the little shit and all that shit. I'm, I was gonna write a book like the man behind the the man behind the scene. That'll be hard though. Bullshit. People see that fun. that that angle. My only, I can't. The world need that for real, bro. There's a lot Especially of opportunities in the behind the scene. realm, a thing. Because, like, like I was, you saying that shit, bro. And every every marquee athlete needs that, bro. And you know, you know anything. firsthand, a lot of motherfuckers ain't got nobody like that. Nothing. Especially if they if they going off their own judgment, their own family, their own friends. You already spoke on. Them be the motherfuckers that be in the way Hell of yeah. them investing into a Snapchat. But don't or, get them or, folks or, your money, you know bro. What I mean? Me personally, bro, we we have to realize what athletes go through and like the decisions they have to make and family done burnt them so much and all that stuff mm-hmm. and different things like that. But every athlete needs a small team that's I right, this the athlete, they need a small team that's covering them. And then outside of that, you got the agency, the team, the this, the that, whatever. But that small team that's covering them, that's there for them, that's who you got to talk to. Absolutely. What like, you think? You got to, you got, you got to just go. All you do is go play ball. Right. Exactly. I Ain't agree. nobody co- contacting you as far as tickets, as far as. Um, any you little, ain't got no outside distraction. Any but, little yeah. thing, yeah. any little thing is handled from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? But everybody, everybody need that, man. On Because them athletes go through so fucking much, bro. And like Nav said, like, it get to the point where they tired, they want to hang out, they want to let, you know, let loose, party, drink, or whatever. You got to know you got somebody that's going to trust that you're going to make it home that night. Mm-hmm. You're going to get home and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. What you think about like with a, a person like Ant Man right now? And the reason why I bring up Ant Man, cause like Ant Man, like, like what I'm finna say, like they put him, they saying like he could be the face of the league. You know, they put him in them conversations, but he's still so down to earth and so you know what I mean. So yeah. it's like he got a team too, though. Got a team. Like, he got he got Justin and them. Like you know what I'm saying, he got people that's looking out for him and shit. Yeah, yeah, Ant. And I won, bro. That's that's what and and bro, you know what make it so? It's like it's no filter, it's no cut on him. What we what what we have to do though, we have to protect Ant. Absolutely, mm. we Absolutely. have to protect Ant as a city. We have to protect Ant. No, I could go for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we ain't protect Vic. Boy, word. 
we gonna have to protect Ant. I'm gonna say y'all. Huh? <laughs> y'all didn't protect Ant. <laughs> he said he tried I'm to say as a city. <laughs> no, that was y'all, bro. Cause as as the city, we didn't like. He didn't do that shit in our city. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm saying as a whole, like the Falcons organization, like I don't know, man. Y'all know Vic ain't deserved that. Hell, no, I would have. Right. I right now, I would have took the charge for him. You would have took the charge for Vic. Yeah, for them dogs, easily. Like, we eight, eight months. I think he fucked up when he lied to Arthur Blank. Bro, I, and that's what I think, Ray. If he would have told you, Arthur Blank the truth, I, I, he would have swear. Man, yes. they would have figured some shit it out. It would have helped this. I'm far. telling you, bro. Yeah. Bro, when you lie to a agree. white man, boy. <laughs> Cause look, this is how I'm looking at the red. He's like, you, you telling me the truth? He's like, yeah, yeah, I ain't doing that. Now he going up the back. Hey, there you go. You yeah. can, you can, you can you do go. all the investigation you, you want. You go. He good. And then when they go do the shit, he like, on, nigga, bro. you had me tricked, bro. I'm telling you, as a black man, the easiest person to lie to is a white person, cause they want to believe us, especially if they like you. They want to believe you. They want a chance to make sure. Man, you had the wrong idea about him. Man, I had a white teacher in third grade, Miss Fain. <laughs> I don't know why I could just trick her so easily, bro. Hey, what, what's something you told her? Huh? What's something you told her? So, I told her a whole Everybody. bunch of shit. <laughs> I, I, told, I told her I was a, uh, a foster child. <laughs> I said, man, you can't call my mama today, man. <laughs> they gonna send me back. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like angels in the outfit. I'm gonna go back. <laughs> but no, nah, man, but like, I see what you're saying with Ant, though. We just like, we gotta. That's our one, bro. Yeah. Like, we, we, he, he, he had an amazing season. And I, you know, I know my boy No No over there. And um, I don't know all his team, but I know. No, no, he used to cut my hair. Yeah, for sure. And, um, and no, no, he he. No, no, told me. His price jump out of nowhere, boy. <laughs> no, no, pull up on you. Yeah, yeah, you could you used to. I think no, no was the first one with the hundred dollar like like cuts. Then Good. it went to a thousand <laughs> out of nowhere. I don't know if it's a thousand, but uh, no, no, it ain't that, but it ain't but that. No, no, he cut. jumped the price though. But no, no told me about Ant before anybody. For real. No, no told me about Ant before anybody. Like when Ant was a kid, like mm. before the AAU circuit started. Damn. Yeah, no, no been there for a long time. Well, you were like, the Atlanta Vikings and shit then. Yeah, yeah. Even before that, like when, when, like I don't know exactly when he came, but I know No, no told me, like when Bruh lost his, his grandma. grandma. And yeah, all yeah. That, yeah. No, no was there around then and, you know, whatever. So I know he got good people around him. I, we just gotta embrace, bro. Like he about to do, bro. Special. Man, he, he got gets, that shit with him. If he gets soft ass, Carl Anthony Towns away from him. You heard how that nigga be talking? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, uh, yeah. Come on, guys. Bro, yeah, and yeah. I will root like, for Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, man, yeah. The big cat. What y'all expecting, bro? Big, big purr. Big purr. Oh, it's big purr. That what it is. Big purr. Oh, that was a big cat. Man, trick. You need to switch your voice up real quick. Yeah, he, he needed. He needed some. He needed some. Um, he needed some help. He needed one dog with him. He needed. Jaden's a dog, That's bro. Who? McDaniel's is a dog. Oh yeah, he is. But bro, yeah, he ain't that, nice he ain't that Yeah, but listen. Same age it, yeah. All right, look. McDaniel's is a dog, but you got to look at. I know they the Timberwolves, but them niggas were going against some wolves. Nah, he motherfucking he, Kyrie and Luca. Them niggas ain't regular dogs, bro. I don't think we could say, bro, a dog. Who? McDaniel? He's a great defender and stuff like that. Like, we can't give he him a streak that. Of, yeah, because we do be using Draymond that Draymond Green is a dog. A, I see where you're going. Draymond's a Wolverine or something. Yeah, I don't know. That nigga wild. Like, it's a, like don't get it twisted. That shit. Shit is, that shit is different, bro. With well, Draymond, I yeah. I see what you're doing. Draymond down there changed the lead with the type of dog shit he did. All right, now. <laughs> What? <laughs> if I'm going to say I, we can't be using word loose, don't say he changed the league now. Generational talent. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all Draymond didn't change the league? Yes, bro. Draymond. Who I always say? I say Draymond is the motor of the team. Don't I always say that for the Warriors. the team. I'm talking about what he did to the league. All right. The Wait. number one. I don't know what he me, did. Let me give you this. Let me give yeah, you this. I got to sit up. The you got to tell one, me All right. In the NBA. You can't stop nobody one-on-one. Right. 
the elite players and stuff, you're not going to be able to stop them one-on-one. It's a scheme to everything. Yes. Mm-hmm. Teams have to prepare a scheme for you. You cannot stop these elite players. Like, everybody on each team, maybe that the starting guards or whatever, you're not going to be able to stop them one-on-one. You have to run a scheme. So the number one thing, the number one thing is, the biggest thing is screen and roll. Like a screen and roll is one of the biggest offensive plays in the NBA to get off or whatever, whatever. This for the history. So all the way back to when Draymond changed it, you have, I'm running you off a screen, and if you try to follow the screen or go under, or if you switch, I have a five man in front of me. So I'm basically going to be able to do what I want to do because I have a five garden. But wouldn't mm. you say Steve Kerr changed the league? Fuck, no, don't no, get him next. Draymond, credit. Draymond. So now when I do a screen, I got Draymond Green coming out there. I got a Draymond Green switching, and when he switch, it ain't no just five. It's really another guard guarding you. Now teams are trying to get a Draymond Green to stop the screen and roll. I just taught you something. What? Bruh. But Draymond's a four. Yes. So you have Rasheed, Rasheed Wiles was a four. He wasn't okay, go Chris back Weber. To one go, one back, like that. go back to one. Who? Rasheed? Oh, I thought he wasn't going over here. Who played the guards. five back when um when things got tough with the um the Warriors? For uh Tristan oh, wasn't it? For the Warriors? No. Zuba. No, I mean uh, Zaza. Zaza was a f- No, he started. I'm talking about when they playing, they had Draymond um running five. Running five. five. Uh, and and Durant, Durant Katie, Katie will and flow. Looney. Katie yeah, will flow. Oh, Katie. Three. Okay. Man, Played Looney two. probably plays seven minutes a game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Looney wasn't playing like that. That's serious. Bro, I'm telling you, you think about that shit when they he switch out on you, bro. That shit is hard. So who your top five players of all time? Not no error, just all time. <laughs> the jump. Let's do it. No, nah, because I, I had that because if you say Draymond unchanged the lead, I want, I, you know. He top five, though. Okay. <laughs> Bron. Uh-huh. I'm over here contemplating like this hard. Um, Bron, Mike, Cole. Shaq, Steph. Oh, that's that cool. Who's oh. six through ten? That one, that shit might get tough. That shit would get tough. Um, Joker. This all time? Yeah. Yeah, what he Joker? Better than, he better than Tim? Tim who? Duncan. Yeah. Tim who? Yeah. Yeah, that ain't. Y'all know that. No, I'm I so don't know. Sorry, good. I don't know. He was so sorry, good. I don't know that. I don't know that. It's a debate. Oh, no, that, that, that's tough, that. though, Red. I can't put him over. Tim, I can't put him Tim, over. Bro, yeah, Tim would like that, though. I, I agree but with But Joker you. controlled the whole I game. So I will say I would take Joker. So over I ain't seen Tim Duncan bringing that no, ball up No, Joker controlled like the whole game. I like. You ain't see Joker. You ain't see Tim Duncan controlling a game like that's that. That's why I said I'd take Joker over Tim. But Tim. bro don't care about nothing. Bro, go play basketball and go home. Hey, that's what Tim was doing. Hey, look. Yeah, Tim was. Ant Man, Ant Man <laughs> made that nigga Joker mad though. I ain't never seen Joker get mad. He was like, "Why you waving back? Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that shit. Yeah, ain't got under yeah. his skin. Yeah, yeah don't do that shit. Skin. Why? We all will have. I knew Ant needed some help. Joker better than KD. Kevin Durant. Yeah. No, Kevin Durant. <laughs> you didn't say the name yet, so. Yeah, Do I gotta put six through ten in order? No, oh no, you ain't no, gonna put it in order. No. All right, so I ain't gonna put it in order. KD, <laughs> Joker, Joker, Magic. Shout out to my boy Dewan. He'll kill me if I don't put Magic in. Um, Bird ain't got his chance. Um, ain't got a chance in the top ten. No, Bird ain't more. got a chance. You got two more. Bird ain't got a chance. Bird um, is cold. You didn't say Shaq. He, he said Shaq's on top, Shaq, five. Shaq, top five. Top five. Okay, okay. We gotta go. Kareem. And I got one more. Mm-hmm. That's what I like to do. <laughs> the dream. I be thinking. Will Chamberlain? Yeah, nigga wasn't watching them games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know nothing about that. Yeah. Them, them nigga was going against Did goddamn. Did they confirm that 100 was real? Man, that shit was fake in here. <laughs> they had I, talked to, I talked to his grandson. His grandson told me. He was like, my grandson. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Damn, one more. 
Do you down to one? Oh. See, y'all be tripping though, bro. But I. <laughs> man, throw it out <laughs> there, man. Shoot around. the shot. Say throw it. it out there. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I like Luca, bro. Come on. Stop it. I'm gonna be All quiet. right, let's go. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> It's the season. No, I he went Luka to the too. final. Stop it. Not top, top 10. 10. All Let, me time. Let me say this. If he have a, what he's doing, if he have a career like this. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He's he going to be there. If he do that. Yeah. yeah. But he got to oh, maintain it. So you saying it. right now? No, nah, just all over. These your top 10? He ain't point? in my ten, top 10 Yeah, He only 25. Yeah, he can't be. He not in the top so, 20. So oh, we got to be He got to be. We don't have no, an age. We ain't got shit. Yeah. You just give your We ain't win shit yet. This is top 10. Yeah, that's a, he, I'm talking about, I ain't talking about win. I'm talking about talent. I, like, I don't think you have to win a ring to be better okay, than somebody. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I agree. Right. Okay. It's Charles Barkley. I don't, I don't see a lot of people better than Luca. So AI in your time? Ever. AI, honorable mention, but I don't think. Shit, that's yeah, I, bro. Lot, bro. I got Kyrie over Luca though. That's uh, me. Kyrie over. If we were talking talent, you just because you changed skilled. the name. Skilled. Oh. Kyrie, the most skilled ever. For sure. Ever. Yeah, but bro, Luca. When I told them, bro. Niggas, when I told them niggas Luka that a couple different. weeks ago, bro, they told me I was different, bro. And I, I'm looking at <laughs> all the never seen nothing what like What you Luka. said now? And when bro, I told y'all a couple weeks ago about Kyrie, y'all niggas. Come on, bro. We on the same boat with Kyrie now. All right. Kyrie, the most skilled ever. There was one of y'all who said he the best on his team. I, I, I did say that, I that and yeah. I, I said that I, I came that. back and retract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said After that I, I ain't take it back. You still think he better than Luca? Yes, man. I, 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 a I'm, I'm a Kyrie Irving <laughs> fan. Listen, now one on one, if, I, if they Kyrie playing Irving one on one, I want Kyrie. I'm telling you, I, over, I still uh, might over take a lot Luka. of niggas. One on one, one on one, bro. bro see, he, Luca might not ever get the ball. He can't check Kyrie. May not ever get the ball. Luca got the ball though. Man, Kyrie play better defense than Luca. I don't think I don't. Now, Luka's one six on ten. one, one on one, I definitely take Kyrie over a lot of people. Yes, but that ain't gonna make him top ten. It's not the game. The game's five on five. Top ten. I love Kyrie though. So it was a stretch for me putting Luca top ten. No, nah, right now, yeah. your list. Talent, 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 no. We're going talent now. Cause your top ten is off talent. So yeah, your top if your ten top is just off talent. Then shit, it's your it's, top ten yeah, is solid. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, because we go career, you start talking about yeah, Bill yeah, not, Russell. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Nah, not number one, no. <laughs> nah, so your, your top 10 off talent. That's, we got that's the most up. rings and all right, that shit. Right, no, Robert Ori. Yeah, Robert Ori. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Right. <laughs> you got to throw Rick Fox in that shit. You what? talking about rings? <laughs> you go to a lot of games. What's the Who, who, who part of the best, though? I can't disclose that. Oh, damn. That was up. Hey, man, hell yeah. Every player need you around. He ain't went to that Diddy shit, though, hey. I ain't never go to a Diddy party, bro. I ain't never go to a Diddy party. Thank God. Heard about him, but I ain't never go to no Diddy party. That's why you my boy. Yeah, I ain't. That's <laughs> why you my boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when the niggas yeah. bring up Diddy, don't go. <laughs> hey, God damn. <laughs> it's like you say a bad name in that wall. You can say nigga all day, you say Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta edit that out. <laughs> damn. Fucked it up, man. man. You got a jersey collection? Like signed jersey? I got a jersey. Them shits ain't even signed. So you be too cool. You rock. But it, it like, it. you out there, you can't be like, Cole, can you sign this? Like you. Nah, I could. Niggas do that shit all the time. But I it like, you fucking up a like a cool moment. Like we've been chopping it up. It's just like. I know, but it's like, nigga, I just chopped it up with you for I did a, um, no, nah, I don't think my, I don't think the jersey sign, but in my office, I got, I got Jack, Dwight, and Josh mm -hmm. jerseys, and I got, oh, I do got Dwight dunk contest when he, I got, I did get that sign when he hit the ball with one Double hand tap. and dunked mm -hmm. it. I created that dunk. So I got that one. It's a picture of him doing that dunk, and I got that sign. Cause what I you mean it. you created that dunk? We was we was um red. Now this is the true shit before you start. <laughs> the rim, like eight foot rim, you did like. This is crazy, bro. This <laughs> nigga think. <laughs> no, I'm saying if no, you created it, I'll listen. It's some, it, we're playing pickup uh -huh. at the RDV in Orlando. We're playing pickup, and we're playing, and so somebody went and tried to do floater or something. And when he went try to do the floater, the white blocked the shot, and he like 
blocked it. Okay. It hit the glass. He blocked it here. It hit the glass, and he caught it like this. And when he caught it, he got it out. He threw it to me. And I'm, I caught it like this, so I'm still stuck looking back that way. And I'm like, damn, you saw what the fuck you just did? Hmm. And he was like, what you mean? So we finished the game. And I'm like, yo, you did, you blocked it, and then you caught it. What if you would have just dunked? Duh. Back in. And so we practiced the shit. And then oh, that's how you created it. Yeah, created I'm it. thinking you did the shit, and I'm like, boy, I got to do the Man, man, you some bullshit, bro. I created <laughs> Hey, man, I don't know what else to tell you, bro. <laughs> hey, I don't know what else to tell you. Nah, nah, we appreciate you pushing up on us, man. Nah, anytime, man. I give y'all brothers, y'all flowers, man. Y'all doing great things, bro. You know, y'all doing great things. Y'all keep it up. Hopefully, I'll be able to. Nah, because I know you. you <laughs> he he helped, man. He got more Kobe stories, so I know I got to bring it back to get the other Kobe stories out of the other right. LeBron stories out right. of So he. Mr. Cuban. He, oh boy, I didn't. He never told uh, that. French said on that shit, bro. Yeah, cute. I didn't know he started all the, oh, the whole cute. locker room being decked out and shit. Cute was that guy, bro. Cute was that guy. Cute was that guy. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Hey, bro, I just appreciate you. You know, let me come be on the show, bro. Man, tell them what 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 they could do. You know, tap in. With wait no more. The hey, app. Man, just just holler at us, bro. Wait no more, man. On all social media platforms, man. Just holler at us. Man, y'all go to them five Ks. I don't. I can't give you the credit, Red, but Toya bring them out. Absolutely. Hey, bro, at them five, <laughs> hey, bro. Now, I'm going to be honest with you now. Yeah. So this fitness shit, I got the cheat code. Yeah. Like, what? I, 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 can't, <laughs> I can't deny that. I can't deny that. I might be the engine, but the the body, like, the what you're saying, like, great power. They, they definitely coming out. Like, that's the niche I had. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I... I took advantage of it, and Why? you know it's man, it's there. bro. Now they be out there now. I'm telling y'all, fellas, y'all see that five K? Y'all see the ad sponsor? Stop! <laughs> Hit that shit. <laughs> Register. Sign up. I'm telling you, you ain't. <laughs> hey, I ain't telling you what you should do. You ain't got to do the five K, but if you go out there. Pay your money, get your shirt. <laughs> Support. Put some water on your head. And just go politic. No, for sure. Man. Network. For sure. Nah, well, yeah, it's there. a whole vibe out there. And that's why we want to do our 5Ks, because we want to make it fun. You know, put fun in the fitness. So every 5K, I want two to three people to leave saying, yo, I want to be a part of this Wait No More movement. I mm. want it. It's fun. I was able to do this. And just, you know what I'm saying? Just start working on a um, better life. Nah, for sure. That what's up, man. Shit. We got to give you your flowers too, Red, man. You ain't, you ain't have to come up and pull up on us, dog. Nah, I mean, I've been I've been trying to since the first season when you told me I was going to be on the show. But it's in good hands, bro. <laughs> come on, man. Come you on, know, now. I'm holding it down. good hands, bro. Legend. You know, legend right here. So, I mean, it's in good. I ain't mad. I feel better now since I've been here. I feel better. And um, I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you for finally answering me. Let me come on <laughs> after a whole season. And you be hiking with Bank. I ain't gonna. Uh, we gonna shout out Bank for you leave Man, out here. I'm going out there. Yeah, you gonna do I'm that? Going out there yeah. Shout out to Bank. Next time yeah, we do it, I'm we, going. We having our um. We having our anniversary. All oh, y'all pull up, man. We have. When we, is it? We having our anniversary. Um, the twenty third. The twenty third this um month. We having our anniversary. We gonna do it out. Um, but yeah. Me and Bank um, started the um, hiking with Bank thing, man. It's amazing. I don't know if y'all know, but Bank lost over 110 pounds sure. just hiking. I used to, <laughs> and um, I used to try to get Bank. I used to talk to him about, yo, pull up to the gym, pull up to the gym. He was like, I ain't ready, bro. I ain't ready. He was like, I'm just walking. I'm just walking. I'm like, man, forget that shit. Pull up to the gym. So I kept telling him. He was like, no, he never would come. So I stopped talking to him about it. I stopped talking to him about it. He just kept walking. I see him in Stone Mountain. We, you know, talk or whatever. And that was his thing. And, like, he lost over 100 pounds hiking. But he was hiking every day. He started, he, he's a real vegan. Like, he really, like, really <laughs> vegan. Shots like, it ain't no posting shit saying he vegan. <laughs> like, my boy's a real vegan. Shout and out to just, Bank. Just, just um, walking and stuff. And, um... Yeah, so we created the hiking with Bank thing, man. We got an amazing team behind us, and um, yeah, we hike once a month, 
and we putting some traveling stuff together to um go hike. But we be having like two, two hundred people, hundred and fifty, two hundred. Yeah, yeah, nah, y'all as hell, yeah. They be de- the Eric and Dutchie were bragging on. The most we had was fun. like three hundred. He came out last yeah. to the last one. He came mm-hmm. out and he went crazy. Like he did the hike, and then she went with bank them, and they did it again. Right. Like they did a total of like six miles. Like it, it was crazy, but man, y'all gotta join us, man. It's dope. Yeah, I'm tap in for sure. Cause I, I, we gotta uh, get together, bro. We nah, gotta get real. together. Yeah, y'all should leave. I'm already waiting for yeah, us to wrap this up so we can. You yeah, know. Well, what y'all, y'all doing? Yeah. Amazing. Man, I already see what happening. Now Reggie gonna stop doing this shit with me, and then y'all got a oh, fit and bros nah, podcast. Yeah, we still <laughs> fit bro. Fit bro podcast. <laughs> but that, that's hard, bro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey boy. last hey. time, this hey, last bro, thing, that, that room back there, that room, <laughs> I got that. Hey. hey, no, we was at uh when Bank did his birthday uh birthday thing. I know we've been talking, but no, we Bank did his birthday thing. That's when he had Jeezy mm-hmm. perform, and bro, you can see uh, you see a lot of these niggas perform. You done seen G? I want to say, I think that's the best I ever seen Jeezy on stage was at Bank birthday thing, bro. It was real. Mm. Bro, it was he was doing something. He was like, y'all name a song. We in this bitch now. Oh, that's hard. He was yeah. on that type of time. Was it the shit show thing? Yeah, shit yeah, show. It was, it, it was Bank, it was Bank birthday, and that was his first time like hosting. Like Bank was the host. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he um had another comedian come and um <laughs> <laughs> the biggest. <laughs> I had my dog up there, so I had my dog up there. So um, yeah, Jesus, Jesus did his thing. That was right. that was a good night, though. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm on stage. I look down. Red sitting down there, and I'm doing my shit. Red smiling. He happy. I was like, my dog. He genuinely happy. Mm-hmm. See Jesus come on stage. He get Jesus that same smile. I was like, this nigga just <laughs> 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 too cool. He just, he just throwing these goddamn <laughs> the gratification around too loose. Now that when I think I start backing up all while like. <laughs> <laughs> man, no, man. Uh, shit, y'all follow uh, my boy Red on all social media platforms. Make sure you uh, follow Wait No More, Mr. Rush Life. They ain't got to follow me. Just They can follow him. Wait, Wait No More? Yeah. Wait No More. Yeah, follow me. Scary. <laughs> we got a, we got a sports uh, like fan base. They they might want to come like Wait dispute no some shit you said. They can't do that on the Wait No More page. Definitely be in your DM. Yeah. Man, that and shit you said about such and such. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. On Twitter too. Yeah, they be mad. I don't want to be on Twitter no more. Well, <laughs> I'm back on that bitch. We don't no. really just end the show. We just, yeah, that's just real. let that shit yeah, end. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get up.